Welcome to The Shooting Show. I'm Matt Hunt and we're here today in the beautiful surroundings of the Holland & Holland Shooting Ground, recently acquired uh, by GMK and Beretta. There's a product launch here today and we'll be testing a number of shotguns but carrying out a review on their new ultralight shotgun, the Ultra Leggero. With the sun shining and the beautiful grounds laid out before us, we're going to go and test these guns. So before we hand over to Matt, I'm here at the Holland Holland Shooting Ground for a press day. We've had a lot of interest in this new model from Beretta. It's the model Ultralight, Ultra Leggero, which in Italian obviously translates to Ultralight. It's uh, currently being launched as a 12 gauge game gun. There'll be a 20 gauge version to follow. The new Ultra Leggero has a skeletonized steel receiver, which means Beretta have managed to reduce the weight in the action between the hands, making the gun very nicely balanced and very nice dynamic to shoot. A skeletonized receiver means that the bottom of the, of the action is hollowed and there's a polymer plate replacing the, the usual steel bottom. There are polymer inserts on the side of the action, which again reduces the weight in this vital area. Overall, the gun weighs in the region of three kilos in 30 inch, then there's a 28 and a 26 inch version with the weight reducing accordingly. And there's also a ladies version called the Victoria with the shortened stock, the Monte Carlo and the higher comb cut back at the toe, for the, especially for the ladies and a radius grip. So the feature of this gun include the uh, steel proof. It's also HP, superior steel proofed for high velocity steel loads. The uh, trigger plate is aluminium, again to reduce the weight. The trigger mechanism is based on the Silver Pigeon and the 690 series. The forend is new, it's an aluminium forend catch uh, based on the 694. So that basically means we have two loops instead of the usual one loop. The gun hinges on the first loop and catches on the second to give uh, constant fit and a smooth opening. Over time, the forend loop can be adjusted to keep that opening nice and smooth. The gun has the Optum HP chokes. It has a new style lightweight recoil pad. The stock has been hollowed to reduce the weight again and keep the balance between the hands. Single selective trigger, no side ribs on this gun again all about the balance. Uh, the gun's the black action. The retail price will be in the region of 2,500 and it will be in the shops at the end of this month. Okay, so as Robert just said in the intro there, the story of this gun is a lightweight gun and most importantly the departure from using an aluminium action. Um, very clever system, skeletonizing away areas of the action um, that aren't required for strength and replacing them with polymer inserts on the side of the action and on the underneath but they haven't just stopped there with the stock all machined out it's made it very light in the back of the gun and also with no midrib it makes the gun still balance superbly well with 30 inch barrels which many dealers are going to be delighted to see the gun still is just fractionally forward of the pin, but we've managed to achieve 30 inch barrels, which is very much the market currently. I think we're gonna see people really latch onto this as a gun that they will use for walking, with more steel shot being used, 
It's definitely an advantage over a 20 bore using a 12 bore, but there's no compromise in the weight. The 12 bore will shoot a lot heavier cartridge, simple as that. Um, and we're going to try it now on some fairly basic play targets here at Holland and Holland. Um, and we're going to start with some 28 gram Ely Blue. They're a seven and a half fibre wad. And we're just going to try them on a fairly basic target. I'll just shoot two. Pull. Pull. So the gun handles really nicely. Very much a familiar feel to this Beretta, um, like we've all used for, for many years. No great departure from it. It feels light, but hinges beautifully when you open the gun, as you just saw there. The extraction's absolutely fantastic. There's a slight resonation um, in the harmonics of the gun when you shoot it without the mid rib in but most people probably wouldn't even notice that and I wouldn't say it's a, it's a down point. We'll just shoot another two. And what we'll do this time is we'll change the gun from firing on the top barrel simply by moving it across to fire the bottom barrel first. And it'll be interesting just to see how the gun reacts with recoil firing that bottom barrel first. Pull. Pull. And virtually no difference between the two. I'll just shoot two more. Pull. Pull. And obviously this is a, a new gun. But as Robert was saying about the new design with the fore end, you can certainly feel that working. Those two barrel lugs with the first one pushing the fore end back onto the hinge and applying pressure, the gun feels very tight. Um, and that will obviously stay with the gun as it's shot many cartridges. It's very easy just to keep the fore end applying pressure there so that there's always good bearing surface when you open the gun. It won't ever feel loose or sloppy, which is a really great thing. Being made out of aluminium, it takes some of that weight out the front end as well, which is, um, which is really great. So yeah, over, overall, a gun that's six pound, it shoots very nicely with 28 gram cartridges. Very little recoil. Pull. Probably a little bit about the aesthetics of the gun. Black action will go down well with many people. A very simple overall design, bearing the maker's name Beretta in the classic branding. It's a very attractive overall look. Wood grade's nice. It's nice to see a dark piece of wood with a satin matte oil finish. It'll be very durable. Checkering in the classic style of Beretta. Single trigger, non-adjustable, as you'd expect to see on a game gun. And most importantly, it's got the automatic safety. So using this gun for walked up shooting, knowing that when the gun's reloaded and closed, the gun is safe until such time as that safety catch is pushed forward. So a classic feature for a gun like this that's going to be out in the field. You're going to be walking with it, surrounded by friends, colleagues, it's nice to know that it's safe as it possibly can be. I'll just shoot a couple more. Pull. Pull. And you can probably see from the shooting there, the gun doesn't move in the shoulder at all. Partly due to a very neat Beretta factory fitted recoil pad on the back. Works really well, secured in the usual way, just with two shots, two, two screws in there. And obviously you can take that out to access the, um, the stock bolt in the back. Barrel configuration is very standard to Beretta. The usual Beretta game rib, which is nice to see. Mono block, the barrels are in construction um, with three inch chambers. So it will shoot the very largest of cartridges and obviously will digest any of the high pressure steel cartridges. 
So the barrel profile's very clean, classic Beretta game rib on this gun. No flaring at the muzzle, which is nice when you look down the gun in your shoulder. The profile of the barrels are very clean. Choking system is an Optima HP. And this gun we're using today is set at quarter and a half, so nice standard choke. They're Optima HP chokes, so they'll take the high pressure steel. It's always gonna be in the choke where the pressure builds the most as the pellets are forced through there if you're using steel. So having that high pressure choke system in there is a very good thing. Last two. Pull. So first impressions of the gun are its very striking looks. The polymer plates on the side give it a very modern look. It's very much a hybrid action and four-end design taken from 690s and 686s. And I can see many sportsmen going to this when they desire a lightweight gun for use in the field. It's going to be a great success. And thank you to GMK and everybody for allowing us to see it today. We're one of the first people to see this gun and be able to shoot it, and it's been a great pleasure. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll look forward to seeing you at the next review. If you aren't a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you.